Welcome to question number five. In this question, we're given that the point A has coordinates 0, A, B. And it lies on the line L1, which has the equation R equals 6i plus 19j minus k plus lambda bracket i plus 4j minus 2k. And for part A, we're asked to find the values of A and B. And that would be worth three marks. So if you'd like to pause the video, have a go. Just come back when ready if you want to check your answer. OK, welcome back. Let's see how you got on. Now if a point lies on a line, or for that matter a curve, we often say that it satisfies the curve. That means that in this particular case that the position vector r will be equal to naught a b for some value of lambda. So what I'm going to do is substitute this in in place of r and then calculate the value of lambda which makes this equation true. So what we'll do is we'll put that in and I'm going to write in column vectors. I find it uh, a lot easier. Uh, it doesn't take up so much space. So we've got naught a b okay, for r. So I put that as a column vector and it equals 6, 19, minus 1. So I'll put that in 6, 19 and negative 1 plus lambda times 1 for negative 2. So 1 for negative 2. OK. And then what I'm going to do now is compare the i components. So that's this top line here. And rather than just writing down the equation, just say to the reader what you're doing. It makes it a lot easier for them to understand. So compare the i components. Don't forget we're dealing with vectors. So I'm just going to put a squiggle underneath the i components. And if we do that, what we get is that 0 equals 6 plus 1 lambda. So that's just lambda. Rearranging that, you can see that lambda must be equal to negative 6. So therefore, lambda equals negative 6. OK, we we'll now compare the j components. So compare the j components. That's the second line down. And again, just write that in there just to make it readable. And we have that a will equal 19 plus 4 lambda. So just write that in. So therefore, we would have a equals 19 plus 4 lambda. OK. But we know that lambda equals negative 6. So therefore, that's going to mean that a will equal 19 plus 4 times negative 6. So 4 times negative 6 is minus 24. And so therefore, a will equal 19, take 24, which is negative 5. So we have only b to find now, and that's obviously by looking at the last line comparing the k components. So we'll just give ourselves some room there. So we'll compare the k components. Compare the k components. OK, and if we do that, we have got that b equals negative 1 plus lambda times minus 2. But again, lambda is negative 6, so therefore b will equal negative 1. And negative 6 times negative 2 is obviously plus 12. And that means that therefore b is equal to 11. And so therefore, just to summarize at the end, 
we can just say that therefore a equals negative 5 and b equals 11. Okay, and so that brings us to the end of part A. Now moving on to part B, we're told that the point P lies on the line L1 and is such that OP is perpendicular to L1, where O is the origin. And we've got to find the position vector of the point P. So P lies on L1 and is such that OP is perpendicular to L1, where O is the origin. And we've got to find the position vector of the point P. So you might like to pause the video, come back when ready, check to see if you've got the right answer. OK, welcome back. Let's see how you got on. Well, at this point, I feel it's a good idea just to draw a sketch of the line. OK, so what I'm going to do is we'll just take a line. We'll just draw it across there, like so. We'll pretend that this is the line L1. Remember, this is only part of the line L1. It would stretch for ever and ever. OK, out the ends here. And we've got an origin, so we would imagine that this is the origin down here. And P is a point on L1, and it's perpendicular to L1, so I can imagine then that P is, let's just draw it in, just draw something like this, that there's a dotted line coming down through to there. Not very good, I know, but uh, just uh, imagine that's 90 degrees, and that's the point P. And we'll give it some coordinates, coordinates that uh, we've got to find. Well, we've got to find the position vector of point P. So we'll start with saying that it's got coordinates x1, y1, and z1. OK, like that. Let's also put something else on here. Um, we know that the position vector of any point on the line we were given at the start of the question was r equals 6i plus 19j minus k plus lambda times i plus 4j minus 2k. Now it's that part that's very important. That's the direction that the line is going in. So what I'll do is I'll just put a vector parallel, we'll imagine that's the vector, parallel to the line L1 and its direction was the last part in the equation of the line. So I'll write that as a column vector as 1, 4, and negative 2. So that's the direction that the line is going in. That's going to have an important role to play, as you'll see later on in the question. OK, so what do we do? Well, first of all, we know that this point P has coordinates x1, y1, z1, which we've let it have, and it's a point on the line, and like any point on the line, it must satisfy the equation. So therefore, I, I'm going to let the position vector be x1, y1, z1. Let's just put that in, x1, y1, z1. And because that lies on the line, it's going to satisfy the equation, so it's going to equal 6 minus 19 minus 1. So I said minus 19, it should have been plus 19. OK, and then plus lambda in the direction of the line. And that direction of the line is 1, 4, negative 2. 